Last evening, the National Unit Platform Party issued a statement advising Matthias Simpo Gadempio Vunyendo Mukungwe to step down from his role as parliamentary commissioner with immediate effect. The party wanted him released from the position for accepting a gratuity worth 500 million shillings for his role as lead of opposition, a matter confirmed by his successor Joel Senyonyi. Today, in response to that letter, Matthias Simpoga was upset at what he called, and I quote, malicious corruption and abuse of office allegations against me. He added that I accordingly declined a cowardly call on me to resign as a parliamentary commissioner based on spite, envy, and deliberate misrepresentation. Mpuga states further that the general public is aware and alive to the internal intrigue and machinations unfortunately within this young party over the last two and a half years. He was concerned that this was the official style of different party leaders to undermine his work, including hiring of bloggers to abuse and insult his person. Mpuga says every decision of the commission to confer or reward anyone under its charge is subjected to the relevant committees of parliament for legality, feasibility, sustainability and relevancy. To call in such payments corruption is the highest level of spite, double standards and deliberate misrepresentation to the public and membership of the party on a purely selfish mission. If such payments amounted to corruption, all current and previous MPs would be compelled to refund to the public coffers monies paid as gratuity honoraria since no MP, current and previous, was not paid gratuity at the determination of the Parliamentary Commission. Mpuga concludes that he will not leave the NUP party, but he will remain resolute and will not be deterred by small group family interests being peddled to blur the bigger picture of how the party is being managed without transparency among other words. Asked about the development around Impuga, parliamentary spokesperson Chris Obori has said that Impuga deserved the money he received just like any other commissioners of parliament. Every member of parliament is paid a gratuity every year. One would classify that as a service reward. Two, Honorable Impuga by virtue of being a member of the commission, as leader of the position, was offering a service beyond being a member of parliament or being a member of NUP. And this is not only given to him. I don't know why you have called it Impuga's allowance. Why? It was for parliamentary commissioners. Now you're framing it like this was a token to only Honorable Impuga. I don't like that unfairness. Obore adds that he does not believe that Impuga will leave the commissioner's role. In terms of parliament, I do not see any crime committed by Honorable Impuga. So Honorable Impuga is a duly nominated member of the commission by NUP and approved by the House. Has he committed a, a crime here? No. He was given a service award, not a bribe. According to the rules of procedure of parliament, a legislator can leave the position if they are declared incompetent or found to be involved in misconduct or declared insane or unable to perform the functions of his or her office arising from infirmity of body or mind. Jumakiria, NTV.